You're looking good. I could tell right from the start today you had good legs. Stage seven of this year's Amgen Tour of California is the queen stage of the race, finishing as it does up to Mount Baldy Ski Station. Now this climb was first introduced back in 2011 and the following year Robert Hessink won the stage, went into the leader's jersey and held on to that through to the very last day. Now it's been a break for two years for this climb but it returns this year and no doubt those 15 switchbacks to the top will once again prove pivotal in shaping the overall general classification. Now Tour of California is still quite a young race but despite that fact one man has managed to finish first loser on no less than four occasions and he joins me today. Dave Zabriskie, otherwise known as DZ. You ready? ready. Let's go. So, we've covered about 10 miles of the stage so far. I'm on this big road towards the mountains, which doesn't look like it's fine, but it certainly feels like we're already very much going uphill. This will be a crucial point in a stage like this day where some big riders are trying to look to get into the break. How can we see this panning out over the first 10 to 12 miles? Yeah, the break's still trying to form right here. This is, looks like a flat road, but it's really, we're in our little rings. This is a steep part. When I did it in the past, there was already a gruppetto forming right here. That might be where you'd find yourself, Dan. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, maybe so. But what, what would you be doing? So you were obviously uh, high up on the GC. Is it just a case of sitting tight when we get to this first climb? Yeah, so we're watching attacks. We're looking to let the right kind of group form itself. If dangerous guys get in that group, then we're chasing them down. And it definitely feels like the foothills are over and done with. In fact, it's felt pretty severe the last couple of miles and quite deceptive actually. Coming from Europe where the roads are narrow, this big wide straight road doesn't actually feel like I should be climbing, but it's, it's super hard. So this is probably one of the last sections where guys might try to make the break. The heat here is definitely going to play a factor. I mean, you're in Southern California, a lot of exposure, no shade. This isn't like a mountain climb with big pine trees where you're getting coverage from the sun. Like people are going to be sweating. And so if you're a leader, you should make somebody else carry your bottom. Okay, so we've just reached the first KOM of the day on Glendora Ridge Road here, and we're not even 20 miles into the stage, but by this point, the race is going to be well and truly split up, the brake will be established, and distance from them to the last people on the road could be a matter of minutes. Yeah, this will probably be one of the first areas to get a bottle handoff as well. The Swaniers will come up here and park, and if you can't get bottles from the cars because they'll be strewn out all over the place. So these roads are quite narrow at this point and they're going to shoot down so it's pretty important to grab a bottle if you can right here. Well, we had that unbelievably hard start to the stage up to the first KOM. We've just gone along the ridge road down that descent which was super enjoyable today I have to say but in a race situation that descent doesn't really offer a lot of respite with all of the corners. It must be quite stressful if you're a little way off the front group. The guys chasing the main field are going even faster because <laughs> so everyone's chasing and on those twisty fast turns it's really a lot of focus in your head to not lose the wheels and you have to have a lot of nerve to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, After all that, this is really where the race calms down for the first time from the start. Yeah, this is really the first chance we kind of felt like we've just been able to relax and have a chat again. Yeah. Now, I've taken the piss out of Dave a little bit for coming second on four occasions, but I want to say, that to be fair to him, he did have three stage wins in this race along the way. Two time trials and one road race. So. It wasn't all bad, was it? Uh, yeah. Boring days. 
Not long after the riders passed by the reservoirs, they will arrive in Glendora, which is where the only intermediate sprint of the day is located. Now, it's probably not going to be particularly important given that the guys in the break aren't going to be too concerned with a few small bonus seconds, and the guys that are up there in the points competition are unlikely to be in the break. Might not be important to them, but it was kind of important to us, and it uh, looks like I beat you there. Well, not long after that intermediate sprint, the riders take this left-hand turn onto the second KOM of the day, and effectively, though, from this point onwards, it's climbing all the way to the finish on Mount Baldy. So, when you're sat in the leader's jersey on this stage, what's kind of going through your head and at this point when you've still got the, the big section still to come? Yeah, just a lot of intense concentration, trying not to lose the concentration, trying not to lose the wheels, trying not to come off that group. And then knowing that there's still seven kilometers of a steep Mount Baldy to come, it's, that takes a lot of concentration. I mean, this is one of the hardest stages in all of bike racing, probably. It would be no exaggeration to say that Mount Baldy is the most notorious climb in Southern California. Now, it might only be 4.3 miles from Baldy Village here, right to the top, but that distance is a little bit misleading because those 4.3 miles are some of the hardest miles of climbing that you can ever do, as Mr. Zabriskie here will, will attest to. That's right, Dan. This climb has an average of 9%. Smokey the Bear here just told me there's parts at the top that reach 16% gradient. Smoky. Should we go then? Race day. Critical damage. Just lay some sick track to that, like some techno music. <laughs> On Mount Baldy proper, you're trying to tell me that this section is not as bad as it gets later on. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you, and you'll soon find out. This is child's play down here. Yeah, it's an impressive stage, almost 12,000 feet over 120 something kilometers. And to finish it off with this is just torture. So, what was going on here back in the day when you were? When I race, yellow. yeah, this point here. This is where uh, I think Luis Leon Sanchez did a really hard effort to thin out the rest of the pack and set up guessing for the win. And I pretty much finally came unglued right about here and then found my own rhythm. And I didn't lose an enormous amount of time actually, which was good. So I still ended up, but that was my fourth second place overall <laughs> I didn't want to remind you of that day but yeah <laughs> you know. second place is favorite races this is when Baldy bites Dan was having a good day. He told me he'd been training hard for this. This is one of the most popular Strava segments over here in the US. And the current record holder up here on that site is young American Joe Dombrowski, who did a time of 22 minutes and 51 seconds in the race here back in 2012. Now, that was some way down on the race winner that day, Robert Hessink, but somewhere ahead of DZ. Yeah, most uh, pros will come over here and do this climb in about 25 minutes. I'd say a respectable time for any amateur is about 45 to 50 minutes. I'm glad you said that, Dave, because it's taken us 48 minutes so far, so I've kind of done pretty respectably for, for amateurs up yes, here. We're very respectable amateurs. Yeah. But we're almost to the finish. Remember what I said about letting me win because I'm the boss? That right? Yeah, I remember. Well, I've seen firsthand exactly why that is the queen stage of this year's Amgen Tour of California. It's super tough. It's up and it's down. It's predominantly up, actually. And this final climb is absolutely brutal. Very steep sections. Although, to be fair, these last few hairpin bends 
actually aren't too bad. Anyway, whoever wins the stage could well go into the overall race lead and take the win at the end of the race itself. And I'm sure it's going to be a worthy winner. One, two, three, I'm sure whoever gets second place will also be a worthy second place, second placer. You might want to make your move. The boss got me. The boss got me. For more California training videos, click up there. And for some California how-tos, click down there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. He told me he was the boss. He told me he was the boss of GCN. Dang. I guess I'm the new boss. <laughs>